Hey guys, it's Mal from Sablecraft Videos and I just wanted to do this quick video to show how impressive uh, Seuss is with uh, Sablecraft and Minecraft in general. Now that I'm, I understand there are a lot of videos showing Seuss off, which is Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders, but um, with the shader mod. Uh, it it definitely improves the game significantly in appearance, especially if you're one of those guys that's like really into graphics because it really does make the game look a lot better. Now, there are still some bugs with it, of course, such as uh, lights that are too bright, shadows that are wrong. Um, strange reflections in the water, but this is a beta for 1.6.4, so it's not full release. I have yet to play Seuss without any bugs, to be honest, ever, so um, it, it the mileage will vary depending on the person and, you know, the installation. But if you have never seen Seuss, just look at this. I mean, the, the water shader... The water shader that is installed is just fantastic. I mean, you really don't look, feel like you're in Minecraft anymore. It's crazy. You can also see my guy's floating, flying shadow here. Which is really cool, in my opinion. But, look at the sunlight. There's the sun over there. Look at the sun on the water. This looks fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome gonna go back to the spawn here um, and this is the of course the sable castle the infamous sable castle it looks pretty good with this especially you could see the nice new um, dynamic enhanced lighting here see what's cool though is if you put a oh doesn't work oh, whoops I'm vanished uh, I guess it doesn't work but if you go outside here the chest see I told you the shadows are all screwy but you'll see the shadows that your blocks have on them, so it's pretty cool, actually. But anyway, here you have the, di the dynamic lighting, and it really reflects off the walls really nicely. Um, it makes it makes the world a lot more atmospheric. Um, like, for example, this place, this underground of the Sable Castle... Certainly a lot more atmospheric. See, uh, it's a little overly done brightness, as you can see right there. It kind of burns uh, your eyes, but it's still really cool, in my opinion. It's flooded in here. Uh, nighttime is also cool, but you can see the shadows of the light coming through in here. I mean, it needs some improvement. As you can see, it's a little rough around the edges, but once that comes out, it's going to be great. So we saw daytime. Daytime looks really cool. Um, there is absolute darkness in this. See, like I said, it's a little rough below the Death Star here, but there is absolute darkness, like it should be. And you can see where the light would be outside here, which is really cool. But let's switch it over to night. This is when you really get the, um, power of Zeus out. Um, it looks really cool during the nighttime. <laughs> The Sable Castle, the Sable Spawn in general, just looks awesome during the nighttime. Um, you really feel like you're part of this really small town or village with a castle, of course, in the middle of nowhere. Because really, outside this whole little region here is nothing. It's just loneliness. And I think that's really cool. Because if you think about it, this is really all that's protected in the entire server is this little region here and when it came to be created we picked a random spot in the map um, and flattened it and created this whole thing so that's how that came to be but with Seuss it, it just looks great uh, see there are some glitches with the shadows but look at that that's just phenomenal 
you can see upside down. I mean, I really feel like I'm here in real life with these shaders. Because you can see upside down what is in the air. And to me, that's really cool. It's really cool. Also, one thing you're going to notice, obviously, is these glowing spider eyes really disturbing. And there's a health bar above his head, of course, which is also blue. Fires, you'll notice. Wow. Fires, you're going to notice, also give off some decent lighting, so... Um, uh, I don't know if I have Valor Castle in here. Okay, let me go to speed, speed 7. I'll fly over to there, and you get a nice view of that during the nighttime as well. It's got to generate all this terrain. It's not doing a good job. Here's the other spawn. Never really took off. Uh, I gotta find this castle. I forgot where it was. And it's hard for me to tell because. Oh, wait a minute. It's hard for me to tell because of the damn slow generation of terrain. Someone's been setting everything on fire. Um, I'll get them for that later, but nonetheless. Let's find this castle. Let me see if I can increase the no, render distance as far. Let's go over here. Back to the spawn. Okay, I know it was over here. It's way over here, actually. Why did I go the other way? It's right over here. Silly goose. Here we go. I was really impressed with how this looks. Um, on its own, in its own right, because it just really looks crazy. It looks realistic. Look at all that. Night light uh, from the moon up there. You get to see a little bit of a tint of of um, bluish light from the moon, which is a nice little addition as well. And this is the destroyed remains of that castle. Um, if you look at it normally, here, let me set it to normal. That's the normal way, and it just doesn't look... It has no realistic depth to it whatsoever. Whereas, if you switch it over to the Seuss mod, look at the difference. I mean, look at that. You really feel like you're in nighttime, and you really feel like you just got into the, a place where it was destroyed. Uh, where a castle was destroyed, so I think it's really cool. And it really works with Sable really well. And it's going to work with everything really well. And it, like I said, it works for 1.6.4. It's still in beta for 1.6.4. But nonetheless, it still works. And it's definitely a worthy addition to any game. Look at the moonlight in there. You can see it just a little bit. Too tad. And the shadows aren't working really too well, but there it is. And that is a gorgeous view of ignited trees and people have really been going happy with these flames here lighting everything on fire I mean this forest is completely on fire completely like there's no lack of lighting anywhere around here except okay over here it looks like it died down but you can see the spiders eyes and the enderman eyes from long distance away which is really disturbing so definitely for like a Halloweenish depth why is the music playing? Definitely for like a Halloween is depth. Definitely get Seuss if your computer can handle it because it requires some high specs. What do we have here? It's a really pitch black base. Whoops, spelled torch wrong. Blue. It's blue torch? I don't. Okay, I don't know if that's supposed to be happening, but uh, nonetheless, that's kind of cool. I mean, there's no light coming through here, and you can tell. Dynamic lighting is outstanding here with the shadows and all that. It just makes for a great experience. So, just wanted to show you guys Seuss on Sablecraft. Um, I'll be making, of course, more videos, as I always do. I'll be playing a bunch of more, bunch more games, doing more videos on Minecraft. I'm always producing content. So, thank you for watching, guys. This was another Sablecraft production with Malachi21. I'm signing out.